Are you worried, though, about your future of the U.S. economy? Well, with so much uncertainty in the air, it's natural to fret about the security of your retirement savings. But there's one asset that stands the test of time. It is gold. Gold, a biblical currency. For centuries, gold has been a hedge against the market volatility and economic instability. And with a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investment, you can harness the power of precious metals to help protect your financial future. By rolling over your existing IRA or your 401k into a self-directed gold IRA, you can enjoy the potential for long-term growth and stability. Just go to PastorPaulGold.com or call them at 877-646-5347. You can diversify your portfolio with a tangible asset that has real value. Setting up your gold IRA has never been easier with Noble Gold Investments. Streamline process and expert guidance. This election year, don't let election volatility and uncertainty keep you up at night. Vote for the timeless safety of gold and silver in 2024. Noble Gold Investments says this is the time. Oh, and by the way, they if you do this, guys, at PastorPaulGold.com or call them at 877-646-5347. This is the Donald J. Trump silver, one ounce of pure silver coin. They will give you these, 10 of these for free. Or, guys, if you just want to call them, and order them yourself. You just want to purchase these yourself. You can as many as you want. Or some of you by that rollover of that 401k or that gold IRA, you could either get 10 of those Donald Trump coins, all silver, or this 10 ounce silver bar of the, of the American flag. They, you can get that for free. Or if you want to buy them, you can do that. Again, go to pastorpaulgold.com. Or call them at 877-646-5347 and tell them Pastor Paul Begley sent you there. All right. A magnitude 4.7 earthquake struck Malibu at 7.28 a.m. local time, followed by a 2.8 aftershock and four more, ranging from 2.7 to 3.5 in the next hour. This is according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Initially reported as a 5.1, the quake was centered 5 miles north of Malibu and 7 miles deep. No injuries or significant damage has been reported. The USGS seismologist Lucy Jones noted a rise in magnitude 4 earthquakes in Southern California this year, with 14 so far compared to the average of 8 deadline has reported. The earthquake was felt across Los Angeles and as far south as Irvine. The region continues to experience frequent seismic activity amid ongoing wildfires. America is on the precipice of peril. This year's elections in the United States will most likely be the most contentious yet. Will everything go as the pundits say? Or will there be an October surprise? As both parties dig into their respective positions, what can you do as a conscientious voter? Join Paul Begley for this webinar as he hosts a panel of experts to discuss the ramifications of the 2024 election. October surprise! Sign up now at paulbegleyprophecy.com. Australian Defense Minister Richard Marles announced that several current and former military commanders have been stripped of medals due to alleged war crimes committed in Afghanistan between the years 2005 and 2016. The decision follows recommendations from Major General Paul Brayerton, who found that Australian troops were involved in the unlawful killings of 39 Afghans. Marles emphasized that the medals were revoked not for the commander's direct actions, but because of their responsibility as leaders. The decision faced criticism from the Australian Special Air Service Association, which argued it undermined the sacrifices of soldiers, the Associated Press has reported. No Australian veteran has been convicted, but investigations and legal actions do continue.
the Royal Navy's HMS Trent has intercepted its first ever, quote, narco sub in the Caribbean, seizing 4,409 pounds of cocaine worth $209.4 million. In collaboration with the U.S. Coast Guard, the operation occurred 190 nautical miles south of the Dominican Republic. Over eight months, HMS Trent has intercepted nearly $981.6 million in drugs through eight different busts, surpassing HMS Argyle as the top Royal Navy ship in drug seizures this century, the New York Post has reported. These efforts disrupt criminal organizations and highlight the Royal Navy's critical role in maritime security and international law enforcement. The world is experiencing an alarming series of apocalyptic events. Historic weather disasters, earthquakes, droughts, wildfires, impending economic collapse, the rise of AI. In Revelation 9-11, Pastor Paul Begley and Pulitzer-nominated journalist Troy Anderson investigate if these are the true signs of the end times. Is this the final meeting of current events and prophecy referred to in the Bible? Revelation 9-11. Order it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Target.com. The Campbell Soup Company, founded in the year 1869 and known for its iconic soup cans, will drop soup from its name and become the Campbell's Company. Now, this change reflects the company's new strategy and mission, aiming to encompass its broader portfolio beyond just soup. With net sales of $9.6 billion last year, Campbell's is also following recent trends of rebranding, similar to Twitter's transition to X and Dunkin' Donuts' transition to Dunkin', NPR has reported. The name change will be subject to shareholder approval in November. Breaking news, everyone. Glad you're with me. Are you serious? Things are getting very, very dangerous in the Middle East. There is movement. There is things taking place as we speak. And uh, let me tell you all about it. First, I'm going to put a shout out real fast for everybody that's not saved. Every person on the planet, everyone that hears this video, if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, you need to consider doing it now. We are so close to the rapture. We've never been this close. I don't know the day or the hour that the Lord is coming. But the prophecies in the Bible, and we wrote about even here in our book, Revelation 9-11, tells us that we are on the brink of the beast. We're on the edge of eternity. We're in the apocalyptic hour, really. Something biblical is definitely going on with the signs of the second coming, second coming of Christ. I want you to know right now that God loves you. And you can be saved and be filled with the joy and take away all that anxiety and all that uh, concern and, uh, and, and that feeling of not knowing where you're saved or lost. That can go away today. Just give your life to Jesus Christ. Let him come into your heart. Repent of your sins and be born again. And get ready for the coming of the Lord. All right? All right.